Hi guys, welcome back to Red Dog Gaming where we are continuing our let's play of the Parthians in Rome Total War Remastered. Now last turn we took Bostra, we also took Halicarnassus and we moved against the Scythians. Uh, we also fought back some Egyptians down here at Jerusalem um, and at Damascus which is great. Um, we're also about 35 turns in um, and before we get going, we're going to have a quick nosy at the uh, faction ranking list because we actually, I actually haven't had a look for a while. So our faction, we have, we went up quite quickly at the start, which makes sense, and then we're still going up, but slightly more slowly, which makes sense as we've come against the Egyptians and their big armies, and now we're going mental, which is good. Uh, militarily wise. So our production, we lost a bit of money there, about 20 turns in, and now we are carrying on territorially, just a straight line up. Um, so it looks like we're on about 21-ish, 21 settlements, which is fine, 35 turns, fine. There is only 99. Um, financial ranking, doing okay. Population, just going straight up. And then overall, let's have a look at the top five. Uh, Egypt is still one of the top five, but have a look at how we've destroyed them. The House of Brutii are doing okay, but they are just kind of stagnating at the minute. Gaul doing fine. Carthage, uh, pretty slow growth. Uh, as you can see, we kind of followed their pattern a bit. Obviously, we came down from the bottom up, kind of followed them a bit, and now we are starting to take off, so we should be good. Blumming Heck, that is the Gauls. The Gauls just have a mental amount of military, but it's generally trash units. So, that's one good. Germanians as well, but generally trash units. Now, Brutii. The Brutii are, are really starting to recruit heavy now. So, they'll be interesting to face. Production wise, we're still beating everyone. Territorially, we are smashing them. Is that the Gauls? Gauls haven't had any more territory since about turn 10, which is terrible. Um, the Brutii don't have a huge amount. It's 7-7, seven, seven, which should be easy to destroy. Uh, Finance-wise, uh, no one can stand up to uh, the Brutii. Uh, they have 120,000 in the bank. Oh well. Uh, so it looks like it's going to be a nice little uh, face-off against the Brutii. Uh, we obviously have my much larger empire at this point um but yeah it's great uh, right i think everything is done that can be done did we move these guys yes we did oh nope we can't take that yet i think everything's done so we'll end the turn see what happens when, when will they learn egyptians do not <laughs> Do not bring your half stacks to pie with my full stacks of horse archers. Galmata of Ashak. He's 22, wall breaker, and he's, he's brave. That's really good. I, I want him. Yep, he's in there. Settlement besieged, settlement besieged. Ooh. Oh, yeah, Scythia, I forgot about you. I wonder whether he will help us if we sally out, because that's what we'll do. Yep, another sun. Desert Scout, brilliant. Uh, marriage as well, that's fine. Let's do the construction, as usual. A bit of our Sarkia. Uh, let's go with the shipwright, get some more trade. Antioch, because our economy is good. Uh, but it's not amazing just yet. Of course, we'll go for the armor in Antioch because that's another major recruitment center. Sinope. Hmm. Do these provide law now? Uh, they provide public order due to happiness, so we'll do that. We've got large mines in Sinope now, which is good. Nicomedia, we'll do the same. Oh, or should we go Zoroastra? Yeah, let's go Zoroastra. Halicarnassus, yep, yeah, Zoroastra again. Bostra. Bostra's shit anyway. Um, yeah. Cool. 
Right, now we kind of need to sort out the armies. So, Fariel of Ashaka. Night Fighter, Command Talent, good commander. I think we keep him. He is also good. We've got loads of good generals down here. That's the one issue. Right, you go there. Right. Uh, you're just good for managing a city. Um, town, minus city. So, I'll send you up to Sardis. You can manage it. You can stand outside. It's fine. Um, and then... I want you leading armies with your plus three morale. So, we'll probably send you with the mercenary army. Right. You two generals. Get outside. How many will fit in there? That's a full stack. We do need just two units. That's that's without the cataphracts as well. Um, do we want the cataphracts? I guess so. We need two units of infantry though. Um, we'll give you these Grecian archers. So you're just like a proper unit. And looks like we're attacking the Greeks. You stay as the governor in here. This, uh, these guys are actually all right. We'll keep on going with that. Actually, yeah, we will send all you guys up here because we'll get that armor upgrade when the armor is done next turn. How many ships? Is it just one? I thought I was recruiting a few ships. We'll start recruiting a few there. Uh, we'll keep going with the Persians as well because we'll bring the Persians down. We want to take these islands. Um, this 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 should be a brilliant army to destroy these guys. We'll get into Sardis here as well. So we nearly have another full stack. Train these guys. Uh, do you know what? No point wasting money on that because they're going to get retrained next turn anyway. Well, honestly, if we have a big battle here, we might just send this unit back to retrain anyway and get all the upgraded armor bonuses. It's a large city at Pergamon, which is great. We'll go here. Build a watchtower. Oh, God. I cannot believe they would stand and fight, but go on. We'll fight them again. We'll absolutely batter these guys. Yep. Get some more experience. That's, that's what we need, experience. Problem is, we're just killing everyone so easily that it's not getting any experience. What we need to do is whittle a few down to like five units and get them to fire some arrows and they'll get experience really quickly. Uh, no archers... Uh, as we say, we don't really want to use you, so we'll just get you corner camping. Get you with the general as well, because all I want is these guys. All I want is these guys. Let's, let's run to the side of these guys. What is that? They're just chariot archers, so they're not going to charge us. Should be... Uh, just come forward. And just fire as much as you want. What are they cast as? Heavy infantry! <laughs> There's an axeman. Are you joking? They are shocking. They are shocking troops. They are not heavy infantry. They're not even... Well, as in they're not even shocking. Like, they don't shock you. Should hopefully whittle these. How is no one firing at them? It's what? What's the deal here? Fire at these guys! For God's sake! You absolute idiots! They should not be steady. Come on! How are you getting outrun by these guys? You're fast moving.
Right, now we fire at them. Should kill the rest of them. God, it's... See, it's frustrating having to deal with these guys when they're not experienced, because they're it's actually so slow at taking down the enemy. Let's kill this chariot general if we can. Also, quite an unwieldy bunch of troops. Oh, they're, they're withdrawing. Why must you do this to me? Yep, killing them. Cool, the Nubian Spearmen. Let's go. Ah. Well. We'll fire some arrows at those guys. Hopefully get some experience. Doesn't look like it. Fine. Apparently they killed 46, but I'm guessing that's just from their chariot archers. Made them run anyway. They never learn. They literally never learn. Alright, we'll take Alexandria first. Then Memphis. Ah! Well, let's, uh... Sally forth. Nile Spearman. I hope they don't just run again. Makes for boring battles for you guys, doesn't it? If they just run every time. But... Hopefully, they don't run. <laughs> um, right, what do we want to do? One, one side. Uh, load one side, load the other. Can do that. And then we'll get you guys this side. Maybe a bit more micro, but... Will they be enough for final victory? No, what reinforcements? Oh, did I say that I wanted them to be controlled by the uh, AI? Oh, they're just peasants. I don't care. They can die for all I care. Are they withdrawing again? I was going to say, this time there's no withdrawal for you guys. Only death. I'll stick you on that while I'm... Still micro in. They won't like this. They won't know what to do. Which is excellent. Where are you guys? There you are. Alright, come on. Sandwich time. Egyptian sandwich. be firing most of these now because of high ground advantage. They also do not have a huge amount of range. But yeah, I have been extolling the benefits of these guys for <laughs> quite a few videos now. I can't I can't shit on them. I mean in terms of in terms of price and value they definitely are the best value I would say the best value unit in the game. In terms of fighting potential and what they can do for their price it's actually ludicrous the amount of troops that they can bring down ooh, ooh. for okay we've just broken those guys that's fine it doesn't tell you the price on here but yeah for for what they are 2000 arrows they are absolutely brutal Hoping these guys get a bit more experience. We are starting to get up towards the silver with a few of these guys. God, there's a lot of arrows getting there. Uh, thrown about. Everyone fire at these, will you? I want them broken. Ah, uh, you're withdrawing. You will not withdraw. No, oh, run, 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 run. That's what I meant to do. I keep pressing R because I've been playing third age. <laughs> okay, you on that. Don't be on that anymore. Really? Okay. That's the chariots. 
they've charged and they've broken already. Okay, there we are. Get some experience. No, experience, please. Okay, these guys have got one. Ah, I don't think we killed them off, though. The one good thing about chariots with their, their little numbers, if you kill a lot of uh, other units, you can actually just kill chariot units off. It's below 15%. If below 15% of an army is left, um, it will be destroyed. Um, so, yeah, that's one good thing. Oh, your peasants, right. Well, let's move from Bostra, then. We don't, we don't need to be here, do we? Get out of Bostra, as they say. Go after Petra. Now I think we'll be fine. Five units just to take down that. Oh, we won't have five. We'll have uh, nine. Yeah, it'll be plenty. All right, so we've done everything we need to do down here. Yep. How are we doing in Antioch? We're still recruiting, right? And recruit a few boats as well. So you're going to fight the Greeks. You are putting an army together to fight the Greeks. Making it 11 per turn. I mean, it doesn't seem great, but I don't really care. We're making plenty of money. We are good up here, aren't we? That rebel has been stood there for so long. I wish he would just go stand by the watchtower. It makes me nervous every time I see it. So once this corner is destroyed, that's that corner boxed off. We've also got this corner boxed off. We do not have the top boxed off though. We'll get you building some more watchtowers. Okay. Okay, Sifia have taken this, this area. So that's where we'd be going. I would like to fight that army if I can. Um, do you have... Uh, no, you have no equipment yet, which is terrible. I want to see who they are. Oh, yeah, it's... Uh, we don't have reinforcements. I don't want to do that just because I, I can see our horse archers just routing. Right, let's go. Take a... Uh, wait, is this Tanias or Chersianas? I can't wait to get them mixed up. We have one of them. Which one do we have, though? Chersianas, I think. I think this is Tanias. But it's a good little, uh, good little settlement. We'll take that. And then we'll hopefully destroy Scythia. I'd... It's good destroying Scythia early because of their horse archers. Because obviously, the death and destruction you rain upon everyone else with your horse archers, they uh, they can do the same thing. But looks like they're pretty uh, pretty shit recruitment centers they've got at the minute. So looks quite good for us. I think we'll be able to destroy them before we even enter the city. No, not horse archers. I want you. Get there. Right. Cool. Speed this up. It's only three units that we need to worry about. They're horse archers as well, aren't they? Now, if they start firing at our eastern infantry, that is actually much better for us. I hope they bring those horse archers down here. Sure, we might just send the general in. Unfortunately, though, we do have a bit of a uh, reputation for killing generals off in this uh, this campaign. I hope they come down. Hmm. Yep, you guys get that way. You guys can go there. You should be able to reach the other horse archers. 
if you go here. If they bring their horse archers around this corner, we'll send our Eastern Infantry in and stuff. Okay. Okay, one of them just got experience, which is actually good from just doing that. Where's our old uh, general? Come on, son. I mean, yeah, stop firing then and just, just batter them. We might route, though, that's the one issue. No, he routes. Okay, you kill the rest of the militia hoplites. If they break, we've done. And they should break once they've lost a few more men. Shaken. Wavering. Let's go. There we are. Cool. Surprised that wasn't a Scythian, Scythian uh, territory, to be honest. It looks like they've focused on going towards Germany. But probably should have focused down towards Thrace, to be honest. Got a few more bigger cities, better cities. They might have some good recruitment centers then. I mean, their roster's not great either. Hmm. Yeah, this was Chersionis. We have Tanais. I wish in that tooltip it would tell you what level of town it was as well. So it said it would have 4,000 people. So why has the rebels not, not upgraded it? That's very silly of them. Um... Yeah. You can't move yet. That's fine. They still haven't built any equipment, so that is fine. And how. Yeah, we are good everywhere else, aren't we? So, let's end the turn again. Let's see what happens. Okay, I was moving some troops that way. <laughs> Tell you what. You can give me a ceasefire. If you give me, like. This will just suck their reserves dry. So, you give us five thousand. Nope. We will eat you then. It's it's fine. Don't don't worry, Egypt. You will soon be Parthian. Like that's that's all that matters. Get these guys retrained. They have just. How do they have so many little uh, terrible? Um, I don't want those chariots going into that city, so we'll ignore it and go for the city. Because they won't stand and fight, they would run back to the city. This means that while it's under siege, they cannot get their troops in there from unless they attack us and break the siege. However, that's very unlikely. I think we'll go up here with this spy, just so we can actually see how many troops they have there. I don't want to send 10 troops and they've got a full stack of pharaoh's archers or something like that um but I, I mean i highly doubt it they'll probably have a couple of troops but that's it um do we do we want another army down here i mean we are making another one but it's mainly up here once that armor is done that'd be good also okay mr greek mr greek <laughs> That's fine. We'll, yeah, we will retrain all these guys. Do we? I think we go for that big battle. We'll uh, just do everything else first, though. Town will go. And Kira, brilliant. Now you can actually be a proper Parthian town, not a barbarian, disgusting barbarian one. Um, now Frasper, okay. Okay, a lot of these we're running out of things to do, but luckily. Upgrading soon. Katias. Let's go. What do we want to go for, Katias? Probably just shipwright. Get some more trade routes. Campus Sarmatate. Not that they, we are the most diplomatic of nations right now. <laughs> Every nation we come across, we are battering. Um, go for a port at Sardis, I think. Um, Halicarnassus. Chersiones, get that Zoroastra. Nice, actually, you know what? 
we will let's force Sardis. I know this is a large city, so this should have better recruitment of, uh, capability. We will go for the cavalry stables. Keep retraining these guys and training them. Right, time to declare war on the Greeks. That can't be done this turn. Yep, let's declare war on the Greeks. They look weak still. They look weak currently. Oh, look at these! See, this is what we needed the old uh, experience for, to take down these armoured hoplites, because they do have a good amount of armour. But, it's going to be a good experience builder, and we are within range of just retraining them all, so it's not going to be a huge issue. They also have no cavalry apart from their general, so good luck fighting us. Even if we don't kill all their hoplites, we'll kill a, a big enough chunk to take them out with our cataphracts in general. Let's listen to what he says. Let us do so honorably, and let us send many of our enemies howling into the afterlife. Now, take up the sword. Yep, cool. Whatever, bro. Creating archers, pretty good. We're going to move all these guys together. These are the mop-up crew. We're actually going to group them together. Oh, no. Uh, yep, let's go. They're on top of a hill, which they think is clever. But... Honestly, it's just not going to do anything. They're, they're going to want to come down. Oh, they are coming. Oh, they're coming off the hill. Right then. Good luck. Going to run them around the map. Should have probably actually. They have no archers either. <laughs> well, well done, guys. You will prove a hefty point for us today. Are you not going to fire? It's because it went down a hill. There we are. Yep. All the death that should be that is happening for us now is literally just... They're just normal hoplites. I prefer to be on the, the, the armoured hoplites. I'm going to use a lot of ammo here, just, just doing zero damage. There we are. Let's get that nice bonus for being uphill. So they're not actually in phalanx, which means that they don't have their... Um, Don't have their shields up. So we're still just pummeling through them. Kill these guys. Nearly f empty of ammo, which is not ideal. Uh, when you see how many troops they have. We could actually just withdraw. See, this is where having low experience troops is uh, terrible. Has everyone done? Right. Can we kill the rest of those guys just with what we have here? I very much doubt it. I mean, actually, we probably could. Uh, one large route from these guys, though, and it, it'd be all over. Um, so, you know what? We will take the tactical withdrawal. Which they're not going to like, but... Do you know what? Doesn't matter. You got to pick your battles. Um, I know we can retrain nearby, but doing this over and over will actually get us more experience anyway. So I'd prefer to do that. 
We inflicted 400 uh, casualties, so next time we fight them we should ex expect 400 probably. Now we've run, so I think they will attack us. So we only have four units of armoured hoplites. If we can destroy those armoured hoplites, the rest should be okay. Really? What do we have in here? Um, so if we had enough infantry, we could have an infantry line. I'll tell you what we'll do. Send in eight more of these guys, nine more of these guys, to just stand to the side of them. Um, we'll send the guy with the good morale. Where's where is he? This guy, the brave guy. Yep. Send him in with you as well. And if they attack us, we'll withdraw anyone who runs out of ammunition and bring in these guys, which will be good. So we've attacked them. What are we doing up here? Okay, they're running back that way. There's so many turns to come this way. It's horrible. But we do need to kill them. Pressed windowed again. How is it possible to constantly be pressing windowed? It's so annoying. Okay, these guys have run away. Good for me. Um, I'll sit him in there for, for a turn. Bring you guys out. Okay, they're happy. Don't actually know where this Scythian town is. Might be there. Somewhere around here, right? Uh, we'll follow the road anyway. Then we'll come south down this way through Thrace and into the Greek lands. Not too bothered about Dacia and all that yet. Um, it's going to be too messy if we're trying to cover the whole map. So. We'll deal with Scythia and then I think we'll come south and then move on to Italy rather than the other way around. You've moved. Yeah, so everyone down here has moved. It was just these battles here, which is fine. And then the guys in the north, which again, fine. So let's end the turn, see what happens. Oh. Did this guy recruit two units here? We'll come up here and scout. Yeah, they're fine. Active spy. Yeah, I I'm actually, you know, it's fine. Let's go. I couldn't find where those rebel that rebel fleet went as well. Yeah, I knew he was gonna attack. Well we should be good. Yeah, this army will be under my direct command, and it's all horse archers coming in first, so... You know what, we should be good. We killed 400 with a... F with... what is that? 14, and now we've got 9, more than half, so we should kill about 300 with our first load of arrows. And they were all armoured hoplites, well, a lot of them were armoured hoplites, so... That first group, we will focus on the armoured hoplites. If we can get rid of those before all our arrows are gone, we'll go for the glory charge. If not, we will withdraw. Uh, of course, we're going to go up here. The reinforcements are here, but will they be enough for final victory? They're going to hate this. Two generals. Generals, uh, where's the red line? Stay there. These guys, let's get, they're gonna. Get there. They're gonna be firing at just hoplites and armored hoplites. I think we're gonna do alright, you know. So they're, they're bringing their general this way. They just don't know, really know what to do. Which I mean is probably <laughs> the reaction of the real life uh, enemies of these sorts of uh, armies. I mean, the Mongols for one. Like, what do you do? What do you what do you do at that point? I'm 
going to go into Phalanx for those soon. So we really don't need to worry about them. We will move back a little bit though. They're mainly going after us over here. We'll come down this way. Uh, now they turn, which should be a great opportunity to fire at them. Now I wouldn't let you do that, guys, to target them. <coughs> Excuse me. Target that enemy general. We might be able to lure him into it, getting charged, which would be awesome for us. These armored hoplites are tough. Look at that. They got 11 armor. So basically, we need our missile attack to be more than 11 to start piercing that armor. So you're talking about for us now. With just these normal guys, seven. You need to talk about two arrows to, to, to begin to pierce it. Um, so that's why we need the experience. And then that's without that's without them having armor upgrades and stuff, it looks like. Yeah, no armor upgrades. Whereas these armored guys, yeah, no armor upgrades. If they were fully armored up, it'd be brutal. Yeah, these guys on. And also fire at will. If they turn, that's good for us. Who are you guys? They're just militias. Don't care about them. Want to kill the armored hoplites? There he is. Deaded. Right, let's sandwich these guys in. If they're going to withdraw, they're going to withdraw the same way they came in. So, which is this side that I have the rest of my army on. So, good luck to them. Withdrawing, it's not going to happen. The generals can chase down the uh, any retreating units. Building experience. A lot of these guys didn't have experience before, so we are building it, which is brilliant. Still got half our arrows left. How many have we killed? Not forty percent. No, it's quite a lot, you know. Yeah, four hundred already. I'm guessing we've killed a lot less of the armored sort of units. Who are you? Just normal hoplites. No worries. Get there. No, they're just fully boxed in now. They cannot do anything. If anyone starts routing, we've got our generals as well. Here. Yeah. These these guys are routing. Come up this way. Sounds like they're getting hit by the by the arrows, or. Uh, it's armored hoplites. A lot of them are wavering now, which is excellent for us. You go kill these guys. Uh, go and kill them. Just how many is left? Hoplites? Militia hoplites? Hoplites. It looks like we've killed nearly all the armoured hoplites, so... You guys, fire at the actual proper guys. They're still alive. Uh, normal hoplites, please. Get up there. This is a slaughter right now. Get up there. This is an absolute slaughter. Stop firing. Get you in there. It's 
need these last guys to break. Come on. Right. You know you want to. Get rid of the fire at wills. That's one big thing to remember when you're using horse archer armies, guys. Make sure you stop them firing at will once you charge. Because otherwise they will shoot each other. Like, you can see this. Those red, uh, red numbers is... People are... Uh, Killing, uh, that's people getting killed by friendly fire there, so um, make sure you do that. They had nine left. They inflicted one casualty, however, if you look here, like, it isn't one. So all of these are friendly fire casualties, so. I knew we'd be able to get those guys. We just needed a bit more ammo, and I'm glad we kind of softened them up in that first battle, then withdrew, because otherwise we would have lost a lot more troops. Could have got more experience, so that's probably the thing. If we'd lost troops, it might have been all right. These Scythians are really annoying. We've got a guy called that already. It's in Sardis. We just have so many generals in Sardis. That's why we need some more armies. Enemy army rounds. Tower goes Campus Alani. Nice one. That's good. And then Sinope. Nice. I like that. New Sun. Thuxtra of Carre. Where are you? So we have so many. Like, what's this name? Uvaxtra. Thuxtra of Carre. He's sharp and he's a wall breaker. I think you are more going to be a one of those guys. Uh, right, I'll actually move all of you out of here and we'll send this army in to get fully retrained. Yep, yeah, I want it fully retrained. Um, fully destroyed that Greek army as well. well no one, it's frustrating because we've got no one who's fully trained up. Uh, we'd be able to pounce on these guys. They only got two units in there. Uh, I mean, this army would be very capable of doing it. We'll leave. These two are going to manage cities, so we'll leave you two back. We'll go and we'll go and do it anyway. Then we'll retrain everyone in uh, Sardis. Spartan. Everyone's getting Spartan athletes down here. I, I mean, it, I'm not complaining <laughs> because they are really good. But yeah, it's interesting. Now, here we are. Time for these bad boys. Get some wall elephants. 490 upkeep a turn. Get four units. Um, while we're here, we'll still keep recruiting Persian cavalry. Susa, yeah, elite cavalry stables. Now we just need blacksmiths. Why have we not got blacksmiths in Susa? Um, Seleucia, you have upgraded. You can also get War Elephants, so we will upgrade that. However, I think we'll get the armor first. Four and five, yep. Um, Artaxata, get the wall. Um, Hatra. Hatra is a pretty good settlement now. When you start, it's absolute trash. Um, but yeah, it's quite good now. Um, go for the crop rotation. Get that money keep coming in. But we're beyond the point now where money is an issue, so it doesn't matter a huge deal what we build everywhere, but obviously these frontier settlements it matters a, excuse me, a little bit more. Alright, you don't want to build a watchtower there. It's, the, it's archers and um dogs isn't it so we'll get rid of those dogs first they are the most annoying thing so let's do that and then I mean we shouldn't have an issue with the archers um, but yeah it'll be quite an annoying thing to deal with those war dogs as we've seen before they are can absolutely Pummel your troops, so um, you know what? I mean, these peasants 
we don't want them anywhere near anything really so let's get these guys out here uh, oh they're on this side if we route the uh, war dogs before they release them that's a huge deal but we won't <laughs> No, we'll just have to run away from them if they get released. We can be charged with the general. Try route. Don't want to kill the general because we do need a general down here. Another one. They are they have broken, so we do just need to break these guys now. If we break him, we'll end the battle. There we are. Right, we're getting pummeled by them dogs. So let's get, get away from them if we can. Look at that. Oh, oh. Get the rest. No, break these guys now. Yep, there we are. Whew. Just wanted to rush that so that we didn't get... Wanted to rush the breaking of them. So that the war dogs, you can see how much damage they can do. They are brutal. They are ridiculously good. Um, but yeah, we'll retrain these guys. And while we're doing that, we'll get another. Uh, and we'll join up with these guys when we're on the uh, on the offensive. Now, you, it's going to be a bit of a waste. We do need to take these hoplites with us, though, to get... Unless... We'll take these hoplites up to here, and then if it's if there's um, mercenaries available in this territory, which we can't quite reach yet, um, we will leave them behind so we can move faster. And we'll just hire some mercenaries when we get up there. You guys come down there. Right, cool. So we move down here, we're doing our retraining. Brilliant. Now, how are we doing down here? Time to fight, isn't it? So, time to siege down Alexandria. Uh, chariots. So, we'll have to fight them. Nice. I do like these uh, new graphics that they've added. Uh, quite cool. I like the um, foreground sort of character and then the, uh, the background battle. Nope. Don't bother about listening to what you have to say. I'm sorry. Ram there. Ram here. This, we don't need to separate these guys yet. I'm not bothered about taking damage, so... We'll just charge forward, hopefully catch a few of these guys. Okay. Looks like we're not going to be able to, so we will just get these guys out of uh, range of the uh, towers. Hmm. Well, there's many places where we can can, can catch them. We the hillmen are spearmen, so do you know what? We might just send this the hillmen in. It's, it's slingers as well. Your soldiers have brought the ram to the gates. I think we'll send the general and the hillmen in. The battling ram, of course. It means we won't get any more experience on the archers, but we are starting to get some experience with these guys. Not very much, though. Get in there. Oh, it looks like they're coming. That's great. <laughs> prefer them to come let's get there yep and get this guy looks like they're gonna come nice it's good for us should be able to start firing soon oh they're getting fired up Get the uh, general in here, if we can. See how they fare against the chariots. Probably terribly. Nice one. Okay, 
We'll get all these guys in. My, my general better not die against slingers. I'll be fuming. One chariot left. Nice. Yep. That's one way to deal with them. We've been fighting the Egyptians for, it seems like, so long. I know it's been many episodes, but we've been in a lot of turns. Remember that episode where we fought three huge battles in a row? Uh, in Antioch. That was that was great. Um, all field battles as well, so we could use our troops to our advantage. Uh, Temple of Osiris. No, thank you. Temple of Zoroastra, please, only. Spy. Get up there. Right. Getting those elephants in. Just laid siege to here. Oh, what's this in here? So it's spare troops. The thing is, I don't want to make another army of just horse archers because we already have a lot of those. <laughs> uh, maybe those troops could go join the other guys. Alright, let's end the turn. And I think I think they'll leave Ankira if we uh, attack the large city. It's a lot more important, Pergamon, than it than Ankira is. And also, once these guys are retrained, doesn't matter a huge deal. That's some more of a train there, and then that helps with their missile attack and the defense. Gives them one armor because they had no armor before, absolutely zero. <laughs> So, yeah. And as I say, it will take them two turns to build some... Uh, what do you call it? Siege equipment. So, that should not be an issue. Uh, we've got the Cretans with that. We've got the Cataphracts with the upgrade as well, which is brilliant. Okay, it's getting a bit unhappy here at Arsakia. So, what can we do to increase their happiness? Uh, not that it's population growth. Uh, okay, law from the academy. So we'll get a tiny bit of law. Campus Sarkai, also unhappy. So, of course, we'll go for the giant temple of... of uh, whatever it is. What's it called? Awesome temple of uh, Zoroaster. And Kira, we just upgraded you as well. So, thanks for that. Greeks... Um, seed on. Just keep going. Tanias. Tanias is a good little settlement. Uh, we'll get that law. Yeah, Tanias is a good little uh, settlement. Uh, right, we'll keep on going. Halicarnassus. Ooh, upgrade ready. Brilliant. Already? Before I exterminated them, I'm not going to lie. Uh, but it was a rebel. It is, the rebels do not seem to like upgrading their own settlements. I don't know whether that's scripted in the game that they can't or something like that. Um, but yeah. Three Nubian spearmen. That's uh, easy to deal with. Let's get these guys going now. No point waiting. Could do some infantry just to push a ram. They also have the plague. So. Not ideal. <laughs> we'll just. Um, we'll recruit a peasant here. We'll send you out. Send this peasant out to here. Um, that can push the ramp. Also, Petra, can we go? Looks like we didn't recruit. I should have recruited a peasant here. I'm hoping it will be fine. We'll go straight for... Um, I think Memphis. And the Egyptians will be dead soon, which is amazing. Right. Now... What? Why? Rebels. Rebels, please. <laughs> you don't need to be like this. There's one really annoying thing about this game, is the amount of rebels. 
I think it's one per territory, isn't it? Right. Is there mercenaries? There is. Okay. Goodbye, Hoplites, then. We'll send you up here. Um, also, you can just... You and the Hoplites just wait down here together. Don't think the two of you will be able to take anything. Uh, probably just a little bit too small, but we will send you forward just in case. 67% up there is not great. Bring you, bring you across to uh, join these guys. Help them out a bit. Moved everything there. Moved everything down here that we can. And we're looking quite good. I think we're looking all right. Do you know what might help? Retrain these guys. Didn't actually help at all. But we might recruit some peasants up there just to reduce the squalor while they're uh, trying to upgrade the settlement. How about commerce? I'm going to say, yeah, you're fine. They're just, they're just unhappy. Squalor, distance capital minus 80, obviously, and culture penalty isn't helping. We are replacing... Uh, yeah, the barracks, the Musterfield Barbarian will be replaced, so part of that culture penalty will go down. Um, it looks like the only thing that... Okay, roads as well, uh, but we can't upgrade the roads yet. Can we even... We can't even upgrade roads, can we? Yeah, we literally just have dirt roads, <laughs> which isn't great, but at least it's roads, at least it's better than nothing. There we are, lots of town grows, Fresper. There we are. Candidate, another candidate for adoption in Antioch Air. That's actually good because we're building an army there. New Sun. Yeah, in Antioch. Uh, do you know what? He is a brilliant. He should be a governor. Mm, you're going to come to Sidon, but we'll send you over to Alexandria and all that as soon as we can. Right, Frasper. Frasper's upgrading. That's great. Campus Alani, upgrading. Brilliant. Uh, let's start getting some more. Ah, we're, just, we're just doing so well on the economy. We don't really need it. The walls. I, I, you know, I mean, walls are pointless, but they do have a bit of happiness and a bit of law. So, you know what? We'll, we'll do it. Oh, Antioch, we are... This is the Army Central's place, isn't it? Let's go for the Bazaar, uh, because I think when we get this upgraded, we need the Bazaar for the one of the next armour upgrades, probably the, the top tier one. Uh, all these guys are pointless. We just want these guys to get upgraded it. So keep recruiting. So, yeah, Antioch, we got the Bazaar. Campus Samate. There's nothing else I can really do there. Mazika. Uh, yeah, Mazika. What do we want to do? Let's get that lore up. Looks very happy at the minute, but you never know. Almira, Nicomedia. Down here. Let's get that. Jerusalem. Jerusalem. Let's go for the shipwright. And Chersiones. It's the only thing we can do. Where is this city? I think it's down there, isn't it? So, yeah, we'll go take it. Okay, it's a lot faster for us to move now. Nightmare of a city to get to, but once we've got it out of the way, we've got it out of the way. Down here. Yep, don't want to have to just fight those guys for no reason as well. Oh, let's go on the bridge. 
Who I oh, you it's just a stack of Nubian spearmen. We should ruin them. You never know though. Okay, at least we've got peasant in there now. Now uh, let's fight. Still sieging down Ankira, which is surprising. Um, yeah, let's maintain our Pergamon. They they're just normal hoplites, right? Yeah. They're... Okay, this army fully upgraded. Okay, our way. Uh, we'll go threaten these guys. Um, yeah, they're not very happy, but they're nearly 70%. So, so I guess we'll do the Battle of Alexandria, and then that'll be the end of the episode, guys. Alexandria is a large city, so they might not bring all their troops to the walls for us to shoot them, but we do have uh, some Cretan archers, so that shouldn't be too much of an issue. Do, oh, no, not Cretan archers. I, I was thinking we're down in Greece again. Um... We've got something. Whether it's hillmen or whether it's slingers, I'm not sure. We did replace the archers in one of the armies. It might be it might just be our standard Parthian archers. It is. That's no problem at all. Um also they have really bad walls. So that helps. We don't need all four. We go with three though. Do you have long range missiles or not? No, they don't have long range missiles. That's one thing that's annoying. Good having long range missiles. Looks like these guys are about to get absolutely shredded. Nope, maybe not. Let's go there. Let's bring these guys. Yep. Keep battering them down. They should come to the gates when we've broken through. Oh. It's such a small amount of troops, but I just know what these chariots can do to a big group of uh, clumped together of these archers, so. Have we breached? Okay, if they charge my archers with them, that's fair enough. That would be the good idea for them. That would be a good idea for them to do. Um, just send in like this amount. They might start coming down now. Right, let's speed it up. Oh, they are going to charge. Should be firing at them though. They are getting killed. They just have uh, a couple of hit points each, don't they, or something? There we are, that's fine. Just this chariot general still is still just a major pain. Get in there. Get these guys in here, it's ready to come through onto the square. Uh oh. Looks like they might charge us. If we can just get enough arrows down. Get all these guys on the square anyway. Get these guys a bit closer.
Yep, get you guys in there. Excellent. Bring you guys up here if we can. Ah! You idiots! Got to take them off that. Go, 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 go. I do not want you fighting these desert axemen. Are you firing at these guys or are you just. Because have no experience. Also, not firing very much, are they? Should all be firing straight at these guys. They're not doing a very good job. Let's go we'll go there if we can. I mean, hopefully, <coughs> we get some serious arrows down on them. There we are. There we are. Perfect. There we are. Lost a few men. Not too many though. Probably most in that accidental melee engagement that I didn't mean to do. But yeah, it's fine. Twenty thousand people. Massacre 15,000 of them. Naval movement allowance is fine. I thought it increased naval trade as well. Am I wrong? I mean, the, we want this one in Greece. Just just to keep everyone happy. Temple of Zeus. Uh, thank you of Zeus. Yeah, let's retrain. Um, and recruit a peasant. Obviously, we don't. They've not even got stables here. They've got good barracks. But we don't want barracks because uh, our barracks are too bad. Alright, so we moved up here. Moved. We haven't moved there yet. We'll see whether we can fight them next episode. Um, how are we doing here? Yep, yeah, good. Keeping on going. Uh, can't fight that yet. Need to fight there. Go on the river crossing actually, with our hoplites and a and a uh, archer. We should be quite good on that river crossing. Go fight these guys. I know, so this territory is rebel. This one's Scythian. Hmm. Don't. Yeah. I don't actually know where this settlement is. Could be anywhere in here. Same with these ones. Obviously, this one we know is down here, I think. But these ones, it's going to be this army mopping them up. It's going to take ages. So hopefully, they manage to do that job. But that should be it for today, guys. So thank you very much for watching. Hopefully uh, you enjoyed and hopefully we'll see you again on the next video. Thanks, guys. See you in a bit.